Welcome to a brand new episode of the Real Life Podcast, a member of the Nation Network of Podcasts and delivered by DoorDash. What was that? Me, you guys. Oh, I, all right, I so, get a moist mouth. All night long, all I dream about is like the mountains in my hair. So I'm ready to do some business. What's up? Welcome in to a new episode of the Real Life Podcast. For real? You're M. Chuck and Bag Milk. Bag Milk's laying in bed. He doesn't even think we're recording. Are we actually recording right now? Yeah, we're giving her this a new episode of the pod. Oh, okay. So here's what's happening right now. One, presented by the HGA group. Love them very much. Mwah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so we just finished playing our third game of the day, the Tourism Jasper Did Tournament. Did not go well. Did not go well. We'll get into that a little bit later. Um, but we wrapped up at around, ooh, is that, uh, ooh, we, you want to let him in? Yes, yep. Yeah, we have guests. All right. We'll let in uh, Jane Chalmers. Basically, what happened was we left the rink at like 350 and we were like, we're, we're going to do, us. yeah, we started without you. Motherfuckers. We were like, we're going to do, here. we're going to do a special edition of the podcast. And we're going to start at 415, get a nice half hour, you 35, 415. We're rolling. No, we've only been rolling for like a minute. Oh, sorry. Yeah, we just started. One second. I'm, I'm flying. On, I'm on a different mic now. It's nice and warm yeah. in here. I'm surprised you two are fully clothed. Ooh. It's hot in here. It's Man, it is hot in here. What do you have the temperature at? Oh, 19. 19. Yeah, it, I don't it think your thing's working. Here. Yeah. Well, when we came in last night, it was at 22. Just scorching. We hot slept. So oh, there it is. Oh, Vander Kane's on the TV. Kane walking He's in. entered. Oilers game. Nice Control. coat. All right. Well, I hammered him to score tonight. Yeah, I, I got to get on my bets. One and a half. Yeah. I think that's a good one. And I hammered the Oilers in regulation. Minus 130, I thought, or 133. I thought that was a good deal. Your Ram Chuck and I did it in the back of the truck last night. Yeah. Okay. After so having a few pops. Yeah. Um, so let's, let's, let's break, the, let's break down the weekend here. I think tourism, Jasper, Fairmont, JPL, they've been great hosts. It's been a lot of fun. Um, bag milk and I good drove moment. out our drive out bag milk. Good. Excellent. I, I want to I wanna give you two kudos for uh, doing your Q&A and documenting your trip up here. I thought it was both great content and also very adorable. Yeah, I thought so. Our trip to a was fun. Oh, the best buddy burgers for everybody. What do you think of my driving? I get crap for my driving sometimes. Why? Uh, people just say I swerve out of lanes too much. You were heavy on the left lane. Yeah, I like it. Well, because there's no one on the road, right? So just... Put it in the left lane, throw it on cruise control. That way you don't have to worry about it. I commented on the left lane, but if you're going left lane, you better be speeding. I was going, so it was 110. My cruise control was 123. Like As long as you got your head on a swivel and you're looking in the rear view, it's fine to be in the left. It's just, you know, what I always think is that like sometimes maybe um, if you're in the left lane and you come up upon a RCMP, maybe they notice that you're in the left and maybe they take that. Yeah, it's incriminating. Left yeah, lane's it's incriminating. incriminating. You gotta, you always, you always gotta go default back to the right. Yeah. So sure forward earmuffs. I drove 130 the whole way up. Hmm? Very well. Yeah. And, and, but, and, and the, but, but, but the beauty day. about the, the, the beauty about the nation truck, 10 speeds, eco boost. I'm running, I'm doing 130 at about 2100 RPM. actually doing the earth a favor at this point because it's more, Gas, oh. it's gasoline efficiency. Yeah, you could you could ask Caroline and Mike. I, I I would I blew by them. <laughs> uh, anyways, earmuffs. Sure. So once other again. than okay, so other than the weekend, you guys did the Q and A. It yeah, was fantastic. So, I really liked it. I did yep. not feel good about the one post that I was tagged in, where I was the liability. And on you somebody, haven't been. But somebody asked turn? us who was the liability, and I was. There was I just it was disappointing. It was Chalmers. disappointing. Well, okay, because I knew I wouldn't be the liability, and I knew you, and I knew you would take it the best. So yes. I. Oh, and I did. Yeah. So that's why I the, thought that's I would I be the do. liability. So I just voted for myself. Yeah, I put a hole through the wall in my drywall at <laughs> in, in my room. So there's gonna be a fix in my room. You did? No. Yeah, Jay. I punched a hole in the wall because I was so mad that Tyler said I would be liable. No way. Okay. I know me. I'm self aware enough. But uh, the questions, yeah, they were nice. They were good. People were keeping good. you guys busy. Yep. Oh, yeah. And you know what? It makes the drive go quicker. It does. Yeah, you, you two had a hoot. Yeah, we did. Um, the NW shop was good. We made it in good time. All that stuff. We saw two dead moose. Yep. Um, oh, man. Two mooses. I know. Back to back, too. And it's so sad. It's I, it is. Sad. The moose and, and every animal is a moose. Noble creature. A, a beautiful. Yeah, but I just, oh, I, I saw that. And I, 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 I yeah, Eva was crying. Ooh, My really? girlfriend is so, like, so sensitive for fist. animals. You're dumb enough to run across the street. You're playing with like, I don't know if I've ever seen two of them back to back. Yeah. Again. Like they're, they're, they're already kind of pretty reclusive. Like you don't see them out and about. So, so, I drive, so, so when you guys got to Ev- Entwistle, so which is about an hour outside of town, I'm more of an Evansburg where, guy. So it's yeah, same, thing, same thing. No, so that's no, where right the acreage towards. house that I am building is. And I drive that road probably every second day. And I see a new dead game animal every day. 
Wow. Uh, That's a bummer. Yeah, it is a bummer. That's I know it is a bummer, but you know, it's making me real nervous about driving that thing at night if I had to. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, we gotta have yeah, yeah. <clears throat> gotta have the awareness. But uh so yeah, so let's get past this. If you hit a moose, moose, you're fucking you're having a bad time. <clears throat> oh, everyone's yeah, having a bad time. Yeah. yeah. Moose isn't having yeah. a good time. You're not probably having a good time. Your car is I definitely wanna, not having a good time. I would be just like uh what movie is that where they have to like it's still alive? Mm. And oh, Dumb and Dumber? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> is that Dumb and Dumber? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Tommy Boy, they do Tommy that. Boy. Tommy Boy, Tommy Boy. Yeah, yeah. That's what I was thinking yeah. of. Oh, I want everyone to know that I am having a Chris Chalmers poured Ryan Coke right now. And how, Ooh, is that that? how many fingers you uh, got there? I'm not saying it's, well, I, I've, so the thing is, is I, I've got a pretty good base. Oh yeah. I've got a pretty good base on right now. So I, I could take on a stiff drink. Oh my God. Evander Kane just stepped on the ice for the first time. He is taking warm up. He's wearing a bucket. number 91. Without a bucket. Disrespectful to Gaetan Haas. Just hold on. What number do you usually wear? 19? I can repurpose nine. my Gaetan Haas jersey now, Wait, though. nine. Yeah, who's nine? Yeah, then? that's fair. Yep. It's retired, homie. That's fair. I'm <laughs> betting so much on that's this hockey game, someone has to <laughs> stop me. That's how okay. I hear the guy. So let's get back uh, to the trip recap, because yeah. this is what this podcast is about. you guys also notice a, a bunch of cars in the ditch also? Like oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We were yeah. lucky that it was a very dry drive out. Mm -hmm. There's so, so yeah, roads are right out here. Not nearly Um Okay, so we get here last night. We had a little meet and greet, like us personally with the on the bench guys, beauties. Yep. Uh, man, it maybe I, I, didn't translate on our interview with them yeah. how big of beauties they were. People they need are. to know that those guys, if you see them, A, they're approachable and they're, and they're really good dudes. And you can never tell when they're in or out of character. But see, that's, so where, that's where I think the beauty in their shtick lies is that even when they're out of character and, and at one point we hung out with them later on in the night where they were in their, uh, their it, um, some civilian their clothes. Civilian clothes. And I think they're the same people. Yeah. Deep down and, and the way they, the same. But they just thought, you know what? If we dressed up the way we dress up, that's a thing. And it, it totally works for them. And yeah, they were fucking awesome. They were yeah. a great thing out with. Yeah. Tyler's they did a, a great, no, I don't want one. They did a great hot stove with yeah. uh, Caroline. Yeah. Caroline. Ho like, so like, so what we did is at seven o'clock, it was registration. All the teams got together in the ballroom. <laughs> Caroline hosted a hot stove with those two guys for like 45 minutes. And they just had the room going. And the best part was that they had no interest in knowing the questions first. No, yeah. They, 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 so we were, we were supposed to have a prep meeting with them. So Caroline's like, Jay, did you send the questions? I'm like, well, I didn't because you can't put me in charge of anything. If anyone realized on this trip, I fucked up everything. But anyways, uh, and they're like, no, no, we don't want, we don't want to know the questions. You were 0 for 3 in game times today. I, I was so I was wrong with, yeah. I was the only one with the schedule <laughs> like and I gave after, everyone the wrong game time for every game. After our second game, I came back here, crushed a quick nap. Mm -hmm. Nice. Got my mailbag done for Monday. Sure. Nice. Got a little bit of content done. Had a nap. Jacked one out. Hey, oh, you Charles. Gotta, you got to crank one out. Oh. <laughs> well, we can't say that? I don't know. I haven't decided All yet. Right. <laughs> Clean the pipes. <laughs> okay. well, we so, here. So regardless. Then, mm. Tyler does his pregame show with Caroline. Yeah. Comes back and I'm like, what time are we playing at? So he asked the group text. <laughs> And then eventually Jay or Chalmers says three o'clock at three Oh four. Yes. Yeah. Because Jay, so we were supposed to go do some content at three o'clock down there. Mm -hmm. And of course I just, I feel, I feel like something's afoot. I feel like something's wrong. It's not mm -hmm. feeling good. And I see that there's the team that I think we're playing and they're the only ones on the rink. And so I put my skates on really quick and I skate over to the board where they have the yeah. game times and sure as shit. I look at my watch It's three Oh two. We play at three o'clock and I'm like, boys, I'm so sorry. I skate back to JR. He's yeah. like, he thought we played at three twenty. Yeah. So of course, you know, Hey, listen, this Did stuff you not notice there was a yeah. theme. I thought every game was something 20 and yeah. it never was. No, yeah, it wasn't. No, once. it wasn't. Our very first, Our first game, one was nine twenty, wasn't it? Nine. 940. 940. Oh yeah. We're 20 minutes early. Yeah, we were we were super early for it. Okay, so we're jumping, <laughs> we're jumping, we're jumping. But uh Anyways, so yeah. last night we hang out with those boys, but yeah, we go to Pyramid Lake and we play some so uh we uh, like a, an it was the most Canadian shit ever. The yeah. most Canadian shit ever. They say, Hey, we heard about a bunch of locals that are going out to Pyramid Lake. They've got some generators, they've got some floodlights, and we're just gonna have an impromptu game. They got two tenders. Two tenders, pond hockey. Pond hockey. And we're like, Do you think we could come? He's like, We'll vouch for you. Just come. So we I didn't think it was going to materialize, but it did. And we went and it was unbelievable. Oh, yeah. Unfortunately, <clears throat> you couldn't see very much. Out that, there, was kind of the, that was kind of the was charm of it. Canadiana like, you can see everything see. but the puck. Yep. 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 Pretty much. They what didn't help that the floodlights were on the ground, so it only illuminated the ice. Like if they were raised, it would yeah. Have been oh yeah, yeah. But it, but, but, it, it, but it was still so cool. So then we get back to the lobby bar at the Jasper Park Lodge, yep. just in time for final 
<clears throat> final menu call and say your order last call yeah your last call order yeah was so it's last call for impressive. food last uh, that's why we came back we rushed so we could eat we didn't have supper yet so last call or drink orders are always a little bit you know you got to really weigh in how much time you're planning on spending <laughs> what your what your mood is <laughs> your current state my current state your level so i felt like i really needed to be at around an eight and i was about a six so i ordered two double ryan cokes <laughs> and a bottle of red wine yeah. for last call because <laughs> <laughs> why not <laughs> when well, in when Rome. in Rome, man, you're in the <laughs> yeah, mountains, exactly. you're the JPL, you're having a good time. A quick fish and chips too to really just and, round and this, it all out. And this is after uh so that pond hockey was amazing. And yeah. then yeah. we had um Thankfully, we 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 had we had some some chauffeurs that yeah, could drive us around because that was yeah. very oh, yeah, important. We got some DDs, but yeah. we we had the nation truck packed. Yeah, and uh, I'm that sorry. is there no ice in that drink? That I don't have ice in here. I feel that, like I should give you some of mine. It's just can you? Sacrilege. Well, oh, I mean, yeah, I can. What's going through? No, I'm just kidding. I am free. I'm just, I'm not happy. It looks Your like truck I, went Ryan Coke like, neat. And I Chalmers probably can't have it. This, I filled the rise probably about to there. That drink looks like the that drink that I have sitting next to my bed when I pass out with yeah, my last uh, drink of the night. Uh, that's when I wake up my to. bed in a hotel room. Yeah. And the ice is all melted. It's just a lonely, lonely look. Yeah, yeah, Anyways. Yeah, yeah. Oh God. Okay. I'm not yeah, getting so Your mid-like was sick. I was going to say, we drive we, back was heart to heart was but hilarious yeah. and the conversation we had were hilarious and then fast forward your check to what's happened today what's transpired today which is the so tournament. yeah we wake up this morning uh beg milk i was up at 6 a.m i couldn't fall back asleep um all, yeah i know it was terrible but Playing here's blackjack. the thing for me no i did not play any blackjack good, good. Um, myself on time i've not played it yeah good i, I banned myself good 24 good hours man. Um, <laughs> that was part of our conversation. That was part of our conversation. Yeah, it was an intervention for my gambling. It was terrible. Yeah. Um, we were any, all over the place. Yeah. <laughs> Car ride home. Yeah. Yeah. It was, <laughs> but it was weird. good. We, was well, their drunk. hoots were had. Um, so anyways, there's a light right outside this window here that was shining right on my face. And, uh, my thing is when I, when the booze wears off, I wake up. You see those two things right there? They're brown. I, well, I fucking tried. The They're called it window didn't coverings. close them all the way. Anyways. Oh, okay. So we wake up this morning. We get our first game of the tournament. It's the four of us. Yep. Plus Curtis from Sherwood Ford. Yep. Sherwood Ford. Nation yeah. truck. Beauty. Yep. And yep. Mike Salame. Yeah. Salame. That is Caroline. Salame. 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 Sorry. Salame. It's Salame. Yeah. Sorry. That, that is Caroline's. Fiance. 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 So Mike. game one, on the Mike. other team, their captain was too drunk and didn't show up. Yeah. The first he had half? the booze flu. He showed yeah. up, but he, they couldn't find him. It was a 940 game. Yeah. But, you know, they, they were here. They've been here That's for eight years in a row. So yeah. case you were that guy. Stove, <clears throat> about halfway through the hot stove, um, it started to get a lot of uh, um, crowd, like, participation. crowd participation is exactly <laughs> the word I was going for. So we found out that there was two teams there that had been here for eight straight years. And that to me is unbelievable because it's like, you know, we all have these uh, group trips that we go on, football trips, whether or not it be yeah, yeah. a golf outing. These guys make this their outing and you could tell. They were living their life, right. their best life last night. Guys passing out. He was passing out at the table. Yeah, during the hot and, stove. During the hot stove. And, and so, that was at like seven o'clock. Yeah. So they couldn't <laughs> find him. So they they come to me. I don't know why I'm acting team captain at this point, but they say to me, hey, me. do you think that it'd be okay if they just started with three? And now this is a four on four. Yeah. And I looked at him, I said, okay. I mean, we would, this is our very first um, pawn hockey game ever it. as yeah. a team. Yeah. Well, thank God this it was. is the nicest possible thing that could happen to us. So yep. of course we say yes. Now, and and we didn't, we weren't even nice. We could have been like, yeah, we'll play three on three against you guys. We worked them. We had a power play the first half. Yeah, of the game. You know what? And they we, played pretty good. They did. Well, it didn't good. feel like and we had a power yeah, play with no subs either. We yeah. at least had a couple. And, and so of subs. we have six. So to, to, to put it into perspective, we've got six guys. That means fours on the ice at all times, but you can change. There's two in, in, in weight. Yeah. They're, just the three of them. <laughs> They're already on a penalty kill and they have no subs. And so, you know, we should have done better. I'm not going to lie. Only so we only won game done. one, 20 to 15. We won. The, so, so the games here are 30 minutes, two 50 minutes, halves. And I think we're up 14, eight, I yeah. think. And then those, and or no, it's 12 or something. We're up yeah, by whatever. six goals. And yeah. then, and, and then, and then their fourth shows up. And then in the second half, we went nine, nine. Like, so, they like like we needed that power and so, play. So so what I heard was the best thing ever. They they have these jerseys that they swap between each oh, other. Yeah, and if you're point. the fucking last one to show up, no 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 no. Get, if, if, no, or no. if you're the or the sub, if, if you're the or sub the, on their men's league team, just let's put it this way: yeah. if you're the guy that's going to get put on blast, you are wearing 
the jersey that has number 97 with the C on it. <laughs> with the C and on everybody it. Everybody in ball and like in, in men's league hockey should know. Yeah. That is just a death wish. You don't want to be wearing that. You don't want to have the number 99. You don't want to have the number 66. And you don't want to have the number 97. And you definitely. Don't, don't want, want a letter yeah. on the front of it. And so he shows up. You can tell he's out of it. Mm-hmm. And um, he was trying to put the jersey the story, on over his we helmet. We shit pumped him, didn't we not? Did no, we no, not? well, they came back. Like, they, they came I back mean, pretty good. Yeah, we, no. we took we it easy. We, okay. we, we let okay. the foot All off right, the gas. Okay. We started playing weak D. That's okay. Because we were up. I would say that would be the... Uh, but that was a great just, first... That was a great first game for us to really like, yeah. you know... Great first grind. Game. What is What is the saying? To really... Avoid the grind? No, to... To... When you get used to something to grind your, you know, you don't grind your teeth. What do you get do? our feet under us? Cut a your nails to it. No, cut you your cut teeth. your teeth. To, is that what it is? Cut Jesus your teeth. Christ. Christ. How many shots of rye are in there? We had a, we like had a, a manicure. A lot. Yeah. Um, um, so yeah, we won game one. We're, we're running a little low on time because we got to yeah, get to a watch party. Yeah, we we got to host a party yeah. here in so about six so, minutes. So, Cliff Notes now. Go so on. Cliff Notes, game two, we get out there and game two was our best game. We were clicking as a unit. Yeah, we, were. we were really rolling. Good D. Yeah, good D. We pumped the team. Bag it milk was mic'd up. Yeah, yeah. Myself and Bag Milk were mic'd oh, up. Oh, you were mic'd up too. Yeah, yeah see yeah. if we there get any sort of content. We beat, we beat the crap out of them. And, and they had one of the on the bench guys. And, and the misnomer yeah. about the on the bench guys. Man, you could dang. They're actually really good. They're really good. They're really good. good. They're really good. Uh, so fast forward game three. You heard the story about the start time. Game three, the team we played, oh. all wearing shin pads. All wearing shin pads. All playing like it's game seven. It they was went got, hard. Got black, it was, they've all got black track pants. Yeah. They've all got black matching jerseys, jerseys matching have, hats. They had eight players. So they had they two had full lines, lines. Yes. Two full and they, lines. and they would like go to the bench and be like forward change, forward change. And they like, were so oh. intense. Oh my so God. So they all wear shin pads. And what they're doing is they are like the late, 90, late nineties, early 2000 New Jersey devils. And every one of them is Ken Danico. They just stand in the middle <laughs> yep. and they just Clog. plug it up because they are going to eat any pass you try to throw up because they got their shin pads on. Meanwhile, none of us had shin pads. Well, no. I took I took well, Jacobs because yeah. I'm like, I'm like, I saw these guys were playing. I'm like, I'm gonna have to play defense. But so I have to say that like as being the scout of the team, I see I see I am somebody who thinks that I can see <laughs> the future by <laughs> the not Chalmer not, Domus. Chalmer yeah. Domus by the writing on the wall. So I saw these guys. I saw that they looked the most put together. And usually when you're the most put together, you remember the Mighty Ducks? Remember when the the, the, the team in the black, the Hawks, yeah. they were doing their warm up and the Mighty Ducks were doing theirs. I mean, they won the game in the warm up, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those guys were in my head. I said to myself, that's the only team right there. You if said it after game one. I said it after game one. I said, we're a good team. I know we are. We're going to catch our stride, but that's a team to watch out for. Yeah. I even said you that. Said, I said that to they everyone. Were you said in the morning. Hard-o's, man. They and, we, and they were too. So th- th- these guys are so hard though. They, because they're, they, they're a longstanding team in the tournaments, so they got to play an exhibition game against the on the bench guys. And they, and they just refused they were, to play. They, they, they refused to, That was, that's like, listen, I'm sure these guys are nice guys. And they were, we shook hands after, like it was all good. Yeah, um, fucking no, no. leveled me. He middle. leveled you. Yeah. Um, but like to sit there and be they like, Hey, you guys want to like play a fun little exhibition game against the on the bench guys and to be like no no we're gonna go hang out with our wives up by the fires anyways i feel What's like we're venting but they, 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 they came they came well and, and and the games and shit you want to talk about the like i went and asked i'm like what's the game on these guys they're like uh they're all wearing shin pads i'm like yeah fuck. so <laughs> the, the, so i don't know if i can i'm gonna paint the picture of what the scenario looks like down at malign lake on at the Justin Park. It was not, rinks, okay? it was not so Lake. Not there's Malin a Lake. lot of people skating around the oval and there's four, not they did Lake. a masterful job of making four beautiful sheets of ice. Yep. And yeah. there's a way that Shout you can J- stand. JPL so so for the for first that. couple ice games we play, there's no crowd, you know, it's just, there's, there's whatever setup each team has. It's fine. There's chairs. It's great. But for this game, there was a spectator. We, we might've had to, uh, cap the ticket sales because there was a lot yeah. of people watching our game. I think things had gone around that this was the team to beat. And this is an upcoming Oilers nation. Well, team. We're, we're, we're an up and coming group. It, yeah. was, it was a match of undefeated. Yes. And so it was, you could uh, feel I know. the tension. I wanted to win that you game. You could feel uh. the tension. But you know what? We weren't, we, we had to learn to lose before we could learn to win because <laughs> we felt the tension. We kind of yeah. gave up in a way. And when we gave up a little bit, they started to really, really hammer down well, their game plan. Porous defense by all of us. I mean, we had to, we just, it, there was no structure in our <laughs> we game. We were outnumbered right? the whole time. And in the first couple Somehow. games, we, 
could rely on our skill, I think, to our skill and hard yeah, work we, to get us out of games, but our lack of structure hurt we us. We had to thing. realize that it wasn't a north to north to south game yeah. at all times. You're There's a lot this of hard. Lot no. of Dude, the best play we made all day, every single person was going across the ice, not yeah. up the ice. Yeah. And we three man deked these guys, like three man weaved this team into submission. They didn't even know what the fuck was going on. Anyways. We're running out of time. We lost our last game. We are now two and one. We are now sitting here with full drinks, chocolate yeah. specials. I would say a couple though, nation beers. Yeah, fully loaded. And we got a five o'clock Oilers game that we're going to go yeah, watch right now. Seven against minutes. Montreal. Caroline's, poor Caroline sitting on the stage without us right now. Yeah. It's been a whirlwind, but you know what? It's been it's great. one of the most fun oh, yeah. weekends. We I've sit every bitch about that game, it's but just, it's just been magic. It has I was thinking about the last time we did this. Remember, it was like minus twenty when we did this. Last yeah, time. no, the it, weather could it, 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 it was, it was like minus two all day. Uh, you know, the the ponds were amazing. They got an outdoor player lounge with fires going and serving drinks they did and a really food. Good job. And like, honestly, for the most part, everyone's been fantastic. The on the bench guys have been great. JPL's been so awesome to deal with in tourism jazz like they're vested in this so like our commitment to them is like we want to try to help blow this up because a lot of more people need to come out and yes. experience this so we we were looking at the <laughs> setup that they have with four rinks and already the wheels were turning to yeah. see you know is there room for eight rinks yes oh, there is. This sure, could, absolutely. If, yeah. if, if a helicopter flew over i want this to look like fucking u.s open tennis like at what's that place called Oh, uh, Arthur, Arthur Ashe Stadium. No, that Arthur Ashe Stadium is the big stadium. Wimbledon? But what is, what is the, oh, um, the area called? Uh, oh, church, not church, Flushing church. Meadows. Flushing, Flushing Meadows. Meadows. That is the most picturesque, beautiful thing in the world. When you look down at yeah, yeah. a group of tennis courts with like the big, I, my dream for this, because I think yeah. that this is like a diamond in the rough. I think that <laughs> it, it would be amazing to have eight rinks and the atmosphere there's music going oh. everywhere there's fire pits going everywhere fire pits, there yeah. there's elk, elk everywhere you can bring your dog you can bring your kids it's it it's it this, hide this your thing dog, is, hide your wives this yeah it's it this thing is a boy's trip or a girl's trip yeah it, you can have family mixed teams it's a family trip whole damn family, it could be yeah. a stag a stagette it's whatever it's what it. yeah yeah it's whatever you want it to be we're having a blast i want to just thank you guys for coming out and playing this i also great. loved that chalmers by the way got to work yeah, okay. and was changing propane tanks on the yeah. front. you know it, you, fucking... just, you got to step up where you're getting so <laughs> there's a couple things i am uh i walked go. up to the fire pits there's three fire pits and yeah. i had to make chalmers sure, could not i had chalmers, to make there sure was three fire roaring. and he could not stand the fact that every fire but was yeah, a weak you know fire. If a fire so table, he just he just jumped in crank up and he heat. got every fire roaring, roaring. Yeah, yeah it was there awesome was an empty propane tank he was all right in. we're gonna wrap this thing up because puck drops in like 10 minutes here so i apologize if this is maybe a little sloppily edited not yeah, as good whatever. sounding as the we other ones but hope you everyone enjoyed this 23 minute episode episode 350 technically of the real life podcast uh we'll be back let's go get drunk <laughs> Thanks for listening to another episode of the Real Life Podcast. Don't want to miss any of our nonsense? Hit the subscribe button and give us a follow on Twitter and Instagram.